Rosie's on a roll. We do have a nice haha -ha, no. <laughs> Very close. We needed half of the answer. Whoa, so much writing. So that is three marks. Very, very close. That should be a negative. Also, what happened here? <laughs> and in this little total mark section here, I'm gonna add the score. You ready? Guess who's got a new haircut? Me! And guess who's got a new intro? Me! <laughs> Let's roll the intro. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. For today's video we are back with our maths papers because today we are marking another YouTuber's maths paper. A few weeks ago I put Astrid up to the challenge of resitting her A-level maths paper and it went down really well, you seem to enjoy it, so um I'm putting another YouTuber in the hot seat. Today, I am going to be marking Rosie Crawford's exam paper because she sat her GCSE in 2013 and she has resat her math paper on her channel and today I'm going to be marking it. Last year, Rosie graduated from the University of Oxford with a degree in, let me get this right, anthropology and archeology. span I said it right. So hello if you've come over from Rosie's channel and welcome back if you're watching me from my channel. Rosie has sent me in her paper. I feel like a complete teacher right now. I've got Rosie's paper here and we're just going to be marking it exactly like we did Astrid. So let's get marking. So the first question was a recipes question and I think Rosie has got them all right. She has. And it's three marks. Question one, four marks. The next question is a scatter graph question. It says here there should be a plotted point at 90, 17. There's 90 and there is 17. Perfect. That's at 90, 17. So there is one mark. Part B is positive. There is another mark. And then part C, it says in range 16 to 20. Rosie put 17, another two marks. So that question has a total of four marks. Question three says, here is a triangular prism. Work out the volume of the triangular prism. The answer should be 120. She's got 240. Very close. We needed half of the answer. There should be a little divide by two there because we need the area of this triangle, which is four times three, but then we need to divide by two because the area of a triangle is half times the base times the height, and then the volume we would times by the 20. So let me see how many marks I can give for that. Oh, we can give you one mark because you've put centimeters cubed, but the method marks for all the working out, we can't. You can have one mark. Let's move on to question four. Question four was an algebra question, and that is correct. Next question, we wanted to factorize 9x squared minus 6xy, and is that correct? It is. There is two marks. Next question says expand 4 all multiplied by x plus 2 and it is 4x plus 8. How many marks is that? It's just one. Next question says expand x minus 5 all multiplied by x plus 3. Ah, no. Very, very close. That should be a negative. Also, what happened here? <laughs> oh no. Also, we've missed the X off. We can't give any marks there. So, out of the seven marks, we got five. Not bad. The next question is the probability question. And if the probability that the seed will grow is 0 0.75, correct, 0 0.25 is the probability that it won't grow. Jane plants 200 of these seeds. Estimate the number of seeds that will grow. You are correct with 150. So that is three marks. Question six, we wanted to translate shape A by the vector minus three, two. And where should it be? It should have the vertices minus one three yes not six yes two six yes and one three yes so we can give you 
one mark. Part B says, describe fully the single transformation that maps shape Q onto shape R. Rosie said, shape Q has been rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise and translated by the vector minus 7, 3. On the mark scheme, says, rotation, centre 0, 0, 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Now, we've got that there, but the mark scheme then says, note, award no marks if more than one transformation is given. And it does say single transformation. So, you correct with the rotated 90 degrees anticlockwise, but because you've said rotated by the vector minus 3, 7, we can't give you it. I don't think. Hmm. One mark, because it was rotated. So the total for question six was two marks. Moving on to question seven it says rita is going to make some cheeseburgers for a party go rita she buys some packets of cheese slices and some box of burgers blah 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 let's find out whether rosie got the right answer yes rosie did then it says rita wants to sell one cheese slice and one burger in Oh no, she doesn't want to sell anything. She wants to put one cheese slice and one cheeseburger into each bread roll. Indeed, she needs 60. Four marks. Question eight. Is the answer 38? It is. Wow. Five marks. It's going well. Question nine says, Julie is investigating how much exercise people do in a week. None for me. She uses these two questions in a questionnaire. Question one is what is your age? And question two is how much exercise do you do? The part A said write down one thing wrong with each of these questions. We can accept that. That's one mark. Then he wanted you to design a new questionnaire. That is correct. We can accept that. So question nine, four marks. Question 10. Whoa, so much writing. Let's see what the correct answer is. The correct answer is not enough, needs £133. I can give you some marks for splitting the shape up and using the correct method to find the area of one shape. Then, the next mark is a complete and correct method for finding the total area. There's another mark. Third mark comes from a method to find 70% of 19. Then we've worked out 10% off. A lot of boring math later. I think you can get full marks. Question 11, let's see whether we've got that one right. The answer is 164. <gasps> Rosie put 164. It is going well. Five marks. Question 12 said, oh, we can't really see that. It says, draw the graph of y equals 3x plus 2 for values of x from minus 2 to 2. So what we should have had is points at minus 2, minus 4, minus 1, minus 1, not 2, 1, 5, and 2, 8. That is all correct, so we get four marks. Question 13, is the answer 13? Rosie's on a roll. Yes, it's 13. Let's check, we've got everything there to give you the marks. Perfect, three marks. Write down the reciprocal of five, it is a fifth. Evaluate three to the minus a half, very close. When we've got a negative, it becomes one over the positive power, and then we get one over nine. Then we need to calculate this and give it in standard form. It's 2.7 times 10 to the eight. This is a very common mistake and I can see straight away what's happened. What we can do is we can multiply the numbers. Then when we multiply and the bases are the same, we add the powers. But this number has to be greater than or equal to one or less than 10. So what we need to do is divide that number by 10, but compensate by times in it by 10 here. We need 2.7, but then we need to multiply that whole number by 10. So it actually becomes 10 to the power eight. For the whole of question 14, we got one mark. It's okay, it's fine. Let's move on. Question 50. Oh, dearie me. Oh, we've got a minute. Don't count. I did it after time, but still keen to know if it's right. We're not counting this. The answers are three and minus one. So no. Let's see if we can give some marks somewhere. We can give one mark, I think. Oh, no, because that's a five. That needed to be a ten. We do have a nice ha ha no. <laughs> 
but I don't think we can give any marks for that one. Question 16. Rosie said 1,800. We just needed an extra little zero in there and it would have been right. But let's see what happened. Rosie's correct with doing this, but because we wanted the surface area, we needed to square the six. I can give you one mark. Moving on. Question 17, and let's just go straight to the answer, find out whether it's right. It is. Add the brackets in for you. You missed them out, but that's fine. And we can give you two marks. Question 18, is the answer 68? It is straight away one mark. No answer for that one. Part C, is that box plot plotted? Let's have a look. End whiskers at 28 and 96. So... We've got them at 20 and 100. We have restrictions. These restrictions here, they put the greatest and the least time on. We can't give any marks for that one. So for question seven, we got zero. Moving on. It says in a supermarket, the probability that John buys fruit is 0.7. So we've got a nice graph going on here. In the same supermarket, the probability that John independently buys vegetable is 0.4. Work out the probability that John buys fruit or buys vegetables or buys both. Uh, okay, I'm gonna move on. Question 20. Let's have a look if this is right. The answer is four. Um, this is where it's gone wrong. So it should be equal to 10 there. What we should have here is 32x minus eight equals 30x. What we've done is added the three. We needed to multiply the three. Then that would have given us 2x minus eight equals zero. So then x would have been equal to four. So there we can only have one, but the question was only out of three anyway, so that's fine. Part B. Um, Rosie's put a question mark <laughs> and a lol. We can only give zero. It's fine. Yay! 21 is correct. Question 22. I think we've got like half an answer here. It says find the size of angle ABC in terms of Y. This is how I would have gone about it. This angle here we know is AOC and that's Y. So straight away I can work out this angle because the angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference. So that will be Y over 2. Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrant cyclic, quadrilateral, cyclic, you know what I mean. This angle here and this angle here has to add up to 180. So therefore angle A, B, C would be 180 and then minus Y over two from both sides. And we would have had to give reasons. I'm trying to see where I can pull a mark out and I don't think I can. Hmm. It's not fully stated that AOC, the reflex part, is 360 minus y. Do I give one mark? Okay, shut your eyes. I'm giving one mark. I'm feeling nice. Question 26 says, on the grid, enlarge the triangle by a scale factor minus a half, center naught minus two. So we should have had one there, should have had one there, minus three, minus four and a half. The triangle should have looked something like that. We can't give any marks there because it's not the correct size or orientation. So unfortunately, that's zero. 24, let's see if we can give one mark for the ON. Uh, no. Part B says prove that O N. <laughs> I already know what Rosie's written here. O N D is a straight line. Use the ruler in it. I mean, it's very true, but we need to prove it. Okay, it's now time to add up all of Rosie's scores and see how well she did. I actually, when I was marking this, thinking this is going well, even I had to sort of think about how to do the question from not doing GCSEs since 2018, and Rosie's not done hers since 2013, so uh, I think she's done pretty well. I'll be with you when I've added it all up. All right, I've added all the scores up and I'm gonna go to the front of the paper and in this little total mark section here, I'm gonna add the score. You ready? 59. That's really, really good. The paper is out of 100. So just over half marks, it's 59%. That is a really, really good score to think Rosie's not done math since 2013. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the grade boundaries and see what grade that would be. I think it's going to be a B. It is. She passed. 
That's amazing. Well done, Rosie. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you go and watch Rosie's video because if you've watched the whole of this without watching Rosie's, it kind of made no sense. Thank you again, Rosie, for collaborating with me on this video. Let me know who else you want to put in the hot seat to do a maths paper in the comments down below. And I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Also, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Whoa.